So what is the number one piece of technology in your mind that perhaps a hotel should be looking at to help? Yeah, so I mean, I think it really depends on, on the hotel, the market segment, the region. There's obviously a lot of variables that come into it. I think it's all about figuring out where your bottlenecks are. So like, for example, if we're talking about a luxury resort in the Maldives, we're probably going to be talking about a different solution than, you know, a, a budget hotel in Northern California. And so, you know, one of the tools that I think is, is really interesting and compelling from the luxury side is a company called Selfbook. And, and the reason that I think Selfbook is so interesting, I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but basically they've built this uh, graphical user interface o- overlaid onto some of the legacy uh, booking engine and CRS software. And it allows this modern booking experience that feels like you're, you're booking a hotel. It feels the same way that you're uh, you know, paying for goods on Shopify, on a Shopify platform. And so it increases conversion rate for hotels. It streamlines the payment flows by having you know, mobile wallets accepted, local payment methods. Um, and it really helps hotels capture more de- demand in their market and market their services. So it creates that competitive advantage as well as increasing the conversion rate on the website. And ultimately, when you can increase in, uh, conversion rate on your website, you could spend more on ad dollars because those ad dollars are driving more profitability. And so I think that's like one really interesting tool. There's, you know, there's a, there's a bunch, but I think ultimately when we think about technology, unfortunately, there's a lot of cool stuff out there that we get, that I know we'll talk about later in this, but the property management system is the ultimate place that, you, that every hotelier has to look. You have to think about, is my property management system innovating, building new features? Does it have an easy user interface when I turn over new staff? Does it have the integrations that I need? What's the payments infrastructure look like? And so thinking about your property management system as like before I go to level two of like, what are all these kind of really cool tools that I could add to make my hotel more efficient? You're going to get bottlenecked if you don't have the right property management system as the core of that tech stack. So that's always where we recommend starting. And so once a hotel has a really effective property management system, let's say that they're you know using Muse, for example, they'll know all the different integrations that are available for Muse. And then we can start picking the ones that are going to drive their business goals. But ultimately for us, it's less, we really want to encourage hoteliers to be proactive instead of reactive about their technology. And so rather thinking about something that, oh, we heard this hotel does this down the street, we want them to always, we encourage our, our audience to always start with what are the business problems or opportunities that we want to go after this quarter and then fill out, fill in the technology that can meet those. So if you want to drive more ancillary revenue, you might be looking at a mobile ordering solution like Samba, who I know you work with, or you might be looking at upselling software like Canary or Oki. Um, and so it really depends on like, what are your business goals? And, and for each hotelier within a hotel, it's also going to vary. So it really depends on who is the persona, what are their specific goals that they're driving towards, and then aligning the technology around those goals. That's a fantastic answer. I love the fact, as you said, the PMS is still the core and you need to make sure that you've got a strong PMS. These days, it probably should be cloud-based, you know, to give you maximum flexibility. The point about usability is a, a, a great one because with the turnover we're seeing, you know, you want your staff to be able to come in and pick that system up as quickly as possible, potentially by watching a couple of videos rather than having to go through uh, a formal training session, you know, with your vendor. Yep. Um, I hate to say it, I worked for PMS Vendor years ago and, you know, I started in the installation section and we would spend, I would spend nine hours a day training people on how to use the PMS. It was that complex back then. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and so the world has changed a lot. And, you know, it's like, and I always say, it's like, you don't need a, you don't need a training session for an iPhone and that's where all design should ultimately lead. And I was in the Apple store the, the other day and they were doing a tutorial on how to take pictures, which was interesting, but you shouldn't need that. <laughs> yeah, I think there are probably some t- tips and tricks to taking better pictures. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think the, uh, the cameras on phones have become so complex now there are so many things you can turn off and on and, you know, delayed timing and night mode. It can be confusing, actually. So. Totally. So you're absolutely right. And I think the same thing goes for like a PMS. Like you, like it needs to be easy enough to pick up and be intuitive for the staff who's turning over. We obviously are in an industry where there's a lot of staff turnover and now more than ever. And so it needs to be easy enough for someone to pick up as an elementary user or an introductory user. But then what that also allows is every other user to skip past level one and start focusing on more advanced 
integrations, workflows. Maybe it's like, you know, figuring out how to credit Saba orders onto the folio so that no charge is made, or maybe it's taking Apple payments, adding it to the folio and deducting it. So like, what are the things that are gonna make a more frictionless guest experience and provide better data to the hotel to make better decisions? And so it allows those elementary users to get into the funnel and use the software without needing training, but then it allows the advanced users to really go to those PMS companies and develop more advanced workflows and automations. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point.